Are you ready to find out what August month could be for you? Great, because I'm ready to share everything I know. So I'm Chi Pro Sam. I'm a Chinese astrologer and feng shui master. And each month I give away a free reading of one of the 10 day masters. What is a day master you ask? Great question. So in Chinese astrology, of course, we look at the year of birth. You know, you're born year of the rat, year of the dragon, year of the snake. And that is good, but it's only one 365th of you. If we look at the day you are born, that is you. That is all about you. And that day is made up of 10 day masters. It's 10 types of people. And these day masters are the core of your astrology reading. So when you're working with me for an annual update or anything, I'm looking at the day of your birth, utilizing your month, your year, and your hour to give you a full forecast. Now you can get one of those, but what I want you to do today is enjoy listening to the forecast for the day master of Yang Water, which is called Run. So I did that because this month is Run Shun, which is Yang Water Monkey. It's month of August, 2024. So I'm gonna give away the Run reading. So no more chatter from me. If you wanna know the things you should be doing, the things you should be avoiding, lucky dates, unlucky dates, and a little snippet about Mercury Retrograde and the Hungry Ghost Festival, dive right in because this is your free reading and if run is not your day master we'll hop over to cheaprosam.com because i have all 10 day master forecasts ready for you okay with that let's dive in Okay, my lovelies, it is August month very soon because of course you always get this video early so you can prepare. So let's get right to the nitty gritty. What is August? Well, it's something called Run Shun, which simply means Yang Water Monkey, but it has a hexagram of officer. And these are all the kind of things that I layer into that you don't need to know, but I use to give you the best heads up that I can. So the first thing I wanna to touch on, um, there's three key things here in this little, uh, before we get into your personal forecast, is that it is a month of committing, okay? You've gotta surround yourself with the right capable people. And I encourage you to take on important tasks. Basically, step up. Now, amidst all of this is something that you're not really gonna like, and I often put it in the dates at the end, but we're gonna to touch it right now. We are heading into Mercury retrograde. So this is a Western astrology thing, and it runs three or five to four times a year, depending on the year. And it's it's to do with the planetary alignments, but it has a lot of conversation around it and a lot of negativity, and it doesn't need to have that. So let's talk about it. So effectively from August 4th to August 27th, and you're going to see a day here on there because it will depend on where you are in the world. And there's also what we call buffer zones, which is a week before and a week after. But let's just focus on the actual August 4th to the 27th-ish, okay? This is Mercury retrograde. So let's remember what it means. It's a time of going backwards introspectively. So it's famous for your electronics will fail, don't do a massive update, you know, crowd strike. Can we say that was anything to do with Mercury retrograde? I don't know, but that's the kind of thing you avoid. You avoid pushing out something really important that's to do with digital communications during retrograde because the energy is kind of going backwards, which means you can't put something out that's going forwards. It's also a great time to maybe not release your new website or not necessarily release your special offer. However, don't be afraid of it. The way to use retrograde is to kind of just take a breath, okay? Take a breath and think, okay, maybe I need to review some of the lessons I've learned this past year or years. It's a time to sort of make sense of things in your past, in your history. And if there is something you want to fix or address, this is a good time to do that. Because if the energy is going to sort of hold and go backwards, technically, why not use that to your advantage and just take a moment? It's a great month for that. We're also moving from the metaphysical summer fire season into the metaphysical metal season. So there's already this big shift. And when we go into the metal season in metaphysics, it's the autumn season, okay? Which means, if you think about it, it makes sense. I know we're still in the height of summer, depending on where you are in the world, but soon the plants are going to start to go inwards and they're going to start to die down because they're actually reserving their energy. So think of it like that. That's what we're doing. It's not a negative, it's a positive. Now, there's an interesting note that I often don't bring up 
Chinese metaphysics things, but I'm going to bring it here today. August 18th is something called the Ghost Festival. And in a nutshell, um, it's said to be a time when lost souls roam the earth. So it's not Halloween. Don't panic. Friday the 13th is not coming your way anytime soon. But it is a festival. And there's a wonderful part of this that I thought you could incorporate. So August 18th, remember this date, Ghost Festival. It's a great time to have a dinner with family, with friends, a potluck, and bring food to the table. Why? Well, because I said so. Uh, but really, why? Because it's, you know, it's considered that these, these lost souls are roaming the earth and they've sort of got a gateway into our world a little bit. Well, they're hungry. They haven't eaten a meal in a long time. So the concept is offer them food and they will eat it and be happy and be on their way. For you in your, in your world, why not just use this date as a wonderful gathering to share food, share favorite recipes and have fun. It's nothing to be scared of. So Ghost Festival is, you know, do not be scared of it. It's a fun festival all around food. Yeah, there's some history on it, but that's what I want you to focus on. Okay. So as we approach your forecast, what I want to remind you of is we are now fully in the second half of the year. This is the time to walk the walk that you've been talking. So no more, I'm going to do this. I'm trying to do that. You are doing this. You are doing that. You need to walk the walk now. Do not be afraid. Just take a moment during this Mercury retrograde time to get your ducks in a row, get yourself centered and walk the walk. The metaphysical fire is subsiding and the metal is um, getting stronger, which, is, which can be used for focus, determination, making decisions, precision, all those things. It's wonderful. Okay, it's really good. But it is getting close to work time as well. So this is a time of, if you've been preparing, now you run with that. So do not waste this first month of the fall season. It's a time of pulling in, drawing on your own strength and making some big decisions and following through with them. That's the key here. No more, I'm going to. Yes, I should do this. Now is your time. So on that note, would you like to know what your three words are for August? Fresh, instincts, power. Ooh, I like it, I like it, I like it. So my lovely Wren, what are we talking about this August? Well, let's dive in together. It's time for a fresh start, okay? I can't say this, you've been feeling it all year, you know this, I've said this before. Now we're in the second half of the year, it's a fresh start. What does that mean? Well, it means you've got to let go of something. Oh. There's the tough one. Not You might say you let go of things, but you do actually hold on to them. Release the history. Release the wipe away the cobwebs that are there and actually wipe them away. OK, there I think you might keep a few things in the corners and it's not grudge. It's not unhappiness or sadness. It's just sometimes we let go of things, but we just hang on a little bit. Just like it's like having a hangnail that you, you just keep picking on your finger. Right. You've got to release the past because it's now time for a fresh start. And that's all under your realm. Clear the path for your new future. Whatever's there, whatever rubbles of things are there that are from the remnants from the past, kick them off the bloody path, okay? They don't belong here anymore. Your future, it's knocking at your door. It's absolutely knocking at your door. This is your time. Know your worth, walk your worth, embrace your worth. Now, this word worth, I wanted to bring it forward for you because I've noticed people, and I and I did it myself the other day. I thought, oh my God, look, I just did that. Look at that. It, it surprised me. But I, I noticed that some people co correlate their worth to how much they're getting paid. It's the strangest thing. Why the hell would we do that? Money is just something we need in life to do things with. It does not match our worth. So I want you to enjoy this time of Mercury retrograde and Hungry Ghost. Two, know your worth. Walk your worth. Recognize your worth and embrace your worth because you're fucking amazing, okay? You're really up there. You're a powerful day master. Run is the Yang Water Day Master. You've got it coming together. And this month you have a hexagram called consistency. So keep going, but make sure you move those rubbles off the path because they are tripping you up. And I don't think you've seen it before. So be mindful. But on that note, be mindful of letting a wolf in sheep's clothing into your realm. Yes. 
I want you to trust your instincts here because somebody could come around into your world and they're not quite who they say they are. So trust your instincts and follow through with them. If something doesn't feel right, it's not right, okay? Soothe your soul this month. That's a big thing. Again, with retrograde and hungry ghosts, so soothe your soul. This could be meditation, could be yoga, could be walking, could be swimming, could be a retreat, could be any number of things that work for you. So whatever works for you, focus on you this month and allow yourself to go inward and just breathe, okay? We've had a lot going on this year. We're now in the second half of the year. This is good. I've wanted, I've been waiting to get here. Now it's walk the walk. It's make your future happen because it's here. It's activating. I want you to ask your mind where it's at. Yeah, I know that sounds odd. You're probably thinking, well, no, hang on. If you're doing a forecast, you're supposed to tell me everything, Sam. I am. I'm telling you everything that you need to know. And what you need to know is you have the answers inside of you. Ask your mind where it's at. What does it need? What flow could be blocked? What's not, what's not working? Fix it, unblock it, act on it. The universe does have your back. So if you are spiritual, and this is a great month to tap into that, and spiritual can be whatever you want it to be. But if you are, I ask you to get the universe to help you. Tell, ask the universe for direction. Tell the universe what you want. The universe will provide. It will give you opportunities on how to achieve what you want. It doesn't just magically put money at your door or a job at your door, but it will bring the opportunities to you if you are ready to receive. So clear your mind, unblock. We are usually in our own way. We prevent things from occurring for us and we go looking to control the outcome. So let go of that, clear the decks, move forward. Be mindful though of impulsive responses to those who hold power over you. This one's a bit tricky. Uh, when I saw the power in the Barca chart looking at you this month, I want you to move away from pettiness, um, negative naysayers, and other people's battles. Now, there was a lot of that in the first half of the year. So I believe this is the rubble that's in your pathway. I believe that unknowingly, you're carrying some of this forward, and it's like you're ready for it to occur again. So the minute there's someone gossiping, you're like, oh, it's happening again. Here it is again. That person's doing this again unwittingly you're bringing it with you you're carrying it like a suitcase drop the bloody suitcase it's no longer working for you okay it's time to move on so this is a decision you have to make you cannot control what anyone else does or says they want to gossip they want to say something that's up to them but you can control how you react to it so move away from this keep your nose out of business that doesn't concern you because it's your stress levels that will rise not theirs they'll be fine they're having a good old gossip good old laugh so just move away because it will affect you. Now, I do think that August could be an emotional month for you. It's kind of a full force thing because you are run day master and it's run shun month. That's a hell of a lot of water coming forward. This can be a lot. So find time to center yourself. Learn. Uh, and the best thing I can say is if these waves are going to come, then learn to surf, baby. Learn to surf. You were born to this. So overall, I do think this is a good month for you. If you clear the rubble out of your way and climb on top of that surfboard and ride the wave. Now, if you're a woman run day master, this is gonna do with people in your world that are like sisters, mum, and lovers. Now, lovers can be, you know, lovers that are past, present, future. So there's a lot of people there. So it's that side of you there. If you're a man, it can do with people that are in positions like brothers, and sun. So there's a lot going on for everyone this month, and everyone's experiencing this, the 10-day masters. There's a lot going on. Everyone's different. Each month, everyone's different. But I love the fact that a wave is coming, and you can ride it in style. So your three words for this month are, reminder, fresh, instincts, power. Now, go check out the dates, because you know me, I've always got something to say. Okay, so you've got your three words. How about some yay and nay days? Let's go, because you know I've got this for you. And of course, I'm going to remind you, all of this and more is in your calendar in included with your subscription. So download it to your phone so you've got everything at your fingertips, because I give way more information 
on your online calendar than I do here. These are just your teasers. So let's have a look. The first one I want to give you is actually Saturday, August the 3rd. Now, technically, it belongs to July month. All right. It belongs to July month. But I wanted to remind you as we do this transition, because the months are solar, but July 3rd is a great stable day and it's a great day for long term reach. So it's kind of a bit of that planning and it's a time to find your footing. So it's still useful. Uh, Wednesday, the 7th, do something unexpected. This is a danger day. Now, don't don't be fooled by the names. They, they're just the 12 officer names of the days. It's quite fun. But sometimes it's not good. This one if you want to do something unexpected, if you want to show someone, someone something you've got, this is a day to use. Uh, Friday the 16th, this is a great day for building blocks that are foundations for your future. So again, it's a stable day, but it's wonderful as it moves forward. And my last yay day that I'm going to give you, there's more on your calendar, is Thursday the 22nd. This is one of those off to the races you go. OK, it's an open day, so let it rip. Just go. OK, this is a high energy day. Do something good with it. Now, check out your calendar. But what are your nay days? Right. What are nay days, actually? Well, remember, they're just days where the energy is in flux. So things may not turn out the way you want, but you can't avoid them. So just be aware of them. We've got August the 5th, 14th, 18th and 30th. So not many. You can do this. They're not a problem. OK. You've got your yay and nay days. You've got your three words. You've got a reminder about Mercury retrograde. You, my friend, have everything you need to have a fabulous August. I will see you in September.